What's up guys, it's your boy WF Colonel and I'm back again with another tip video. Now, today's tip video will be talking about how to literally bust open cover three from the I-form slot formation. Now before we get into the play, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, go ahead, like your boy. If you enjoy this content that will, you know, give me more incentive to keep putting this stuff out, give you guys much better stuff, tip after tip after tip. So let's get into this video. Um the play that we're going to take a look at is the PA fullback flat play from the I-form slot formation. And like I said, I will this play busts open uh, cover three. Now, we're going to just start with the regular cover three, and then we're going to go with the, uh, show you how to use the same setup, but it still busts open the typical competitive player meta cover three as well. It's very easy to set up. What I do is I put the, uh, the tight end, I put him on a whip route, I take the fullback and I put him on a streak and then I motion him to the right side of the formation. By the way, I like running this from the left hash that gives you more room and it also allows you to bluff like you're running a stretch or an outside run. When you motion that fullback over, it just gives the illusion, you know, just, you know, things you can scheme around as well. So, like I said, the setup is simple. It's only put your tight end on a zig, put your fullback, motion him to the right, and put him on a streak. And so this is what the setup actually looks like after it's all done. And like I said, this is the uh, the regular cover three. I'm going to put the D-line in spies just so, you know, it's practice mode, and I'm going up against the legends, so, you know, they get crazy block sheds. So I just want to show you the coverage X is wide open for a potential one play touchdown against cover three if you have the right person running that route. The reads are very simple with this play. So the way I like to read it is I literally look for this first crosser first. He, he's, he plays an important part when I get into the second cover three version, but I look for him first to see if he's taken if he's taken by this corner, by this corner, I know that this safety is gonna bite on the fullback uh, streak. Also, have a fast guy, if, as fast as you possibly can. Have a fast, you know, running back as fast as you possibly can at this fullback position. It just makes the play work a whole lot better. I put Coleman, or even if you have Freeman, if you run the Falcons, but just anybody. Even if you have to, you know, use a package that has your fullback at the actual running back position and put your regular running back at the fullback position, do that if you know you're gonna run this play. But he's gonna draw the attention of the safety so he can't come over and play this post by Julio Jones, which leaves an easy catch for the easy touchdown. So I'm gonna read the crossing route first. If that's not there, and I see it's taken away by the, by the corner, I'll read this guy. If he's not there, if everything's boxed up, I'll just throw late to the flats as my check down. Throw to the whip route by the tight end. So, now the typical meta cover three that you know all competitive players run, they put their, uh, their corners in deep halves and they put you know cloud flats on the field. This is what you'll see from most competitive players to start the game when they run cover three, then they'll get, you know, super adjusty from it. But this is typically what you'll see. Let me put the D line in contains while I'm at it. So there you go. Setup is the exact same. Put your tight end on a whip route. Motion for back over, put him on a streak. Now you can keep the play action in the play if you want to. It's not a big deal. But um, if you if you were running the ball a lot and you feel like the play action is good for you, then you can go ahead and keep that in, or you could cancel the play action while you're doing it, or you can just you know block the running back completely and just get rid of it. it. Doesn't really matter. I personally like to keep the play action in because I run from this formation, but do whatever you want to do. So this is how the play looks against the, the uh, 
modified cover three that you'll see a lot as well. The reads are the exact same. You'll look at this crosser and see if he's open. Even with the cloud flats, he breaks open late. He is wide open for an easy catch. He's your first read as well. So it's not like you're sitting in the pocket for a long time just waiting for him to develop. He's your first read. If he's boxed, go on to read this guy as well because you'll be able to see it while things are happening. But if nothing's open up top, throw late to the flats to the uh, the tight end. So that is how you bust open cover three. A very easy way to bust open cover three from the I-form slot formation. Hopefully you guys got something from it. Hopefully you guys add this to your game as well. Go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button for your boy. Help me out. I will be hitting you guys up with more tips throughout the upcoming days. It is WF Colonel. I am out.